<laughs> Good morning, everybody. Um, I'm going to make this video about my adoption story. I get a lot of questions about being adopted and my birth mom and all of, a lot of questions. And sometimes people don't even believe me about being adopted. For some reason, they think I'm lying or make it up. So whatever. I just wanted to bring this video to bring light to the subject because it seems like adoption can be so or is still so taboo, even though we're in 2021. It seems like adoption is taboo or it's seen like in a negative light or like in an unfortunate situation when in some situations it's actually really a blessing. Um, you know what I'm saying? Um, so I just wanted to talk about my personal story of being adopted and just um, like answer some questions. If you have any questions, just go ahead and type it in the live chat and I'll answer it when I see it. And if not, then just listen. Um, so I was born in Guatemala. I was not born in um, America where I'm living at now. Um, I was with my birth mother, I guess my my parents found out about me when I was two weeks old. They didn't know about me when my mom, my birth mom was pregnant with me. Um, they found out about me at two weeks old. My mom said that um, before the two, during the two weeks that I was with my birth mom. And then after that two week period, I was um, taken to some caretakers in Guatemala um, and that they took care of me until my mom and dad came and got me. Um, but it's, I always ask a lot of questions about my own adoption. I was like, well, then, did, so they met my birth mom. And my mom said that the caretakers never met my birth mom. So I asked, well, then how did I get from my birth mom to the caretakers? Like, where was I in between that time? You know what I'm saying? There's 24 hours in a day. So I'm always wondering, like, well, uh, where was I in the time, like, where I was transferred from, like, my birth mom to the caretakers? Like, did I just, you know, go down a river or something? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I still have a lot of questions also about my own birth um, adoption story, which I'll get into as I make this video. But yeah, I was born in Guatemala. I was with my birth mom for two weeks. And then I went with caretakers in, in the remainder of the time while I was in Guatemala. And my mom and dad came and got me um, when I was three months old. And, and they still keep in contact with my caretaker, who was also a foreign exchange student in the, um, before I was even born. And um, her mom was the one that ended up taking care of me. Um, so it kind of all is interesting how it all kind of planned out. Um, and I don't know Spanish. I really wish I knew Spanish. Um, my mom and dad that adopted me are both white. They're Swedish, German, Irish, and possibly French. I didn't want to ask my dad um, what his full blood was. I didn't know if he'd um, want me to be even making this video or feel comfortable with me talking about him. Um, but I know that that's what they are. They're completely Caucasian. And um, since my dad and mom got divorced when I was little, people just kind of always assumed that um, I, my dad was Hispanic and that um, they kind of just assumed that my dad was Hispanic and that that's why I looked Hispanic and I didn't look like my mom. But my mom always told them, like, no, my kids were adopted. That's the one thing that I really do appreciate about my mom is that she never hid the fact that I was adopted. I also have another brother that was adopted from Guatemala, but we're not biologically related. And I have another brother that's adopted from the Philippines and we're not biologically related either. Um, but we're all adopted. So um, we're all kind of like a big, nice, big mixed family. But um, uh, sorry, I was getting distracted right here. Um, but yeah, my mom never hid it from us that we were adopted. And I don't know anything about my birth dad. I know a little bit about my birth mom. All my um, adoption documents are in Spanish. And obviously, since I, since I don't know Spanish, I'm not able to read what everything says. There have been a few times where I asked people to translate some of the things for me, but they had a trouble translating it. So I kind of just gave up on like trying to know. Um, the only thing that I really was trying to know was like, it was like her passport, I think, from Guatemala, but it's all in Spanish and it had like her name. It had like a like really like horrible quality um, photocopy of her picture. It had like what part of Guatemala she was from. It had my my birth grandparents name from her side, like her mother, her father's name. Um, and it even had like her address at the time that she was living at. 
Um, so um, I've never like really tried to find her because I thought it would be like a needle in a haystack. I've never even been back to Guatemala since I've been born. I've always wanted to go back to Guatemala, but I haven't been able to because I don't have money. <laughs> um, but I do really want to go back. And I don't have any information on my birth dad, on my birth papers, where there's like a spot for him to be signing the paperwork. It's all an X, meaning that there's no information. I don't know his name. I don't know what he looks like. I don't know where he lived. I don't know how old he was. I don't know anything about him. He's like a complete mystery. So I always wondered like things about my birth dad, like why was I put up for adoption? Did she really not know who she was? Did she lie about it? Was she running from him? was like, did something bad happen and she ended up pregnant with me or, you know, because she just not afford me. You know what I'm saying? Because on my paperwork, it says that she was a, a it says she was a servant. That's what it said in Spanish, it said that she was a servant. So um, I don't, <laughs> my mind always like starts overthinking, like, did she like do something bad? Could she just not afford me? You know, I start like coming up with all these scenarios and about like what happened. You know what I'm saying? I make like my own like novella or soap opera in my mind. And and then like here I am. So um yeah, I don't know anything about my birth dad. On my birth papers, it did say that I had one more sibling because when it said like how many births she's had, it said two. So I'm like, what the freak? I have another sibling. And I didn't know that until like a few weeks ago when I actually looked at my birth papers. I was like, what? I have another sibling or I have another sibling, biological sibling. Like that's so weird to think about. You know what I'm saying? Um but yeah, it's just kind of always been weird growing up because um, when I came to America, we lived in when I came to America, we lived in Oregon, and um, it was kind of like not as diverse as where I'm at now, which is in LBC, Long Beach, California. So when we came to Long Beach, I am so thankful that my mom brought me here, us here to Long Beach. Um, because it's so diverse, I feel like I would have grown up like in a shell kind of if I did stay in Oregon, not saying that that's how everyone is, but I just feel like I'm so glad that I was raised here. Um, but the thing was that most of my friends were all mostly either, they were either black or Hispanic. Um, and so most of my friends like were always like, how come you don't know Spanish? Like you're lying. You really do know Spanish or, um, they always would call my mom like my my foster mom or like my stepmom. And I'm like, no, she's not my foster mom. She's not my stepmom. She's my mom. And, you know, they ask about like my real mom. They're talking about biological mom. I'm like, that is my real mom. You know what I'm saying? That's kind of why I wanted to make a video about adoption is because people like kind of butcher the terms real mom, foster mom, stepmom. Hold on. And they kind of like get the, the lingo confused. And I'm just like, that is my real mom. Or they're just confused about it, which is understandable because if you're not adopted, you really don't have a reason to know about the subject unless you're like planning on adopting or you've just, you've been around someone that's been adopted. So I just kind of want to get the lingo right for people. My mom is my real mom. She's not my stepmom. She's not my foster mom. She is my real mom. My biological mom is the woman that gave birth to me. I've never met her. I don't know anything about her except for what I told you. And, um, and you know, a foster mom is someone that takes in a child, but they haven't like adopted them yet or they don't plan on adopting them yet. But if they were to adopt them, they would be their mom. You know what I'm saying? Um, so there's a big, huge difference in adoptive mom, biological mom, foster mom, stepmom, you know? Um, so I just wanted to bring that to the light. Um, another thing that I wanted to say was that um, when I, while I was growing up, I'm like I said, I'm so thankful that my mom never hid the fact that my brothers and I were adopted because I feel like if she did hide that from me, it probably would have messed me up a lot because I know that there are some parents that raise their children, making them think, letting them think that they're their biological parents and all that. And then they find out like when they're 18 or like 20 or on an accident or something like, oh, that they were adopted. And then like their whole world crumbles down. They're like, what? I was lied to this whole time. You know, so I am so thankful that my mom never hid it from me. She 
she loves adoption. She's helped other people adopt babies from Guatemala. She's so knowledgeable about it. She loves Guatemala. She tells people that she's Guatemalan and Filipino too. <laughs> it's so cute. She loves our culture. She loves Filipino culture. She just loves culture, period, um, in general. And so she always told me, like, told me, like, you know, your mom loves you. She just couldn't take care of you, you know. And, you know, she, she lets she tells me that I, that I was loved. But just growing up and then seeing, like, all these people, children with, I'm saying growing up, seeing all these other children with their biological moms, you know, they look alike or they know Spanish or they just have that culture. I just always felt lost. And then when I was in my teenage years, that's when it really crushed me up. Like I had so much resentment against my birth mom. Like I would think the ugliest things about her, the meanest things like, oh, why didn't she just abort me? Why does she do this to me? Why didn't she love me enough to keep me? I'd rather have been stayed in Guatemala and been poor than, you know, here and lost, not knowing anything about like who I am, where I came from. You know, and it's kind of a hard video for me to make because it's so personal. But I, I really wanted to share this with you guys. Um, but that was my whole time just growing up. It was really hard for me. Um, just me personally. I can't speak for my brothers or, you know, their personal story. But just for me growing up, I just always felt so lost. Like, I know that my mom loves me so much and that she would give her life for me. She's always been a great mom. And um, it's just, I don't know, it's just that feeling of not knowing who my birth mother was. You know, why didn't she want me? You know, that's what I always thought was like, why didn't she want me? Why did she just give me away? And my mom actually hates that term thing, giving away. She's like, you weren't given away. You were put up, you were given up for adoption. You were put for adoption, you know? Because um, when you just give something away, it's like you don't care, you know? Um but that's just the terms that I used when I was um, hurting. And I always wondered, wanted to find her. I tried doing like those, like just a quick search, like on Facebook or online, typing her first and last name. Nothing came up. Um, I would probably have to actually go to Guatemala if I wanted to find her, if she wanted to be found. Like I even tried to use a Ouija board in the past to ask questions about my birth mom. And of course it lied to me and told me one thing. Then it told me another. And I was like, what the freak? Um, so yeah, I was really desperate during my um, adolescence and teenage years to just know who I was and to just, to just know who I knew who I was you know what I'm saying like I don't know how to explain it it's just like always that lost feeling and then of course being in such a diverse um city I always just felt like I didn't fit in there because I didn't know Spanish or I didn't know like the culture and then of course if I went back to like Oregon or something I always felt like I didn't fit in there because I was Hispanic and like now I had you know, well, I didn't look like this last time I went, but I just felt like I didn't fit in because I was coming from Long Beach with all this like diversity and all this just different. <laughs> so I felt like I didn't fit in there. And then I'm just like, God, like what in the world, you know? And that's when I even re started resenting God, but just for a little bit, like who's my birth mom and all that, you know? Um, but during my childhood years, I was actually really close to God, like God, like, cause I, I knew, I know that he existed, that he does exist. And hold on, baby. And um, it was just kind of hard to um, accept the fact that um, that I didn't know, that I didn't know like my culture or like who I, who I was, you know? And another thing I wanted to say was that, um, let's see, growing up was different. A lot of resentment towards my birth mom. I don't know Spanish. Hold on, baby. And um, I might have to remake this. Um, my birth documents say I had um, one other sibling. I don't know anything about birth dad. Okay. I don't know if I said this, but my mom's Swedish and German and Irish. And yeah, this isn't how the video was come. I planned to come out, but I don't like being distracted when I make videos. But that's just part of motherhood. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much my birth adoption story. I really wish I could go more into depth with like how it feels how it felt at least for me to just be adopted because the, those days feel like it was just yesterday and like I don't have resentment anymore towards my biological birth mom I don't have resentment I'm so thankful that she did put me up for adoption because Guatemala is such a third world country like like whether she could afford me or not or like whether she kept my other sibling or not I'm just so thankful 
that sh- I'm right here right now, that I'm in Long Beach, that I have my brothers, that I have my mom, that I have my dad. Because if it wasn't for all of that, I wouldn't have my own children, these children. I mean, I might have had children, but it wouldn't be these children. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, and I'm just so thankful that God, it's just so amazing like how God works. Like he knew that my mom couldn't keep me for whatever reason. Like out of all the parents in the world that want a baby and go through adoption, my mom and dad came and got me. And my mom always tells me the story about how my brothers were with her. I was the last baby to be adopted. And she always tells me the story of how my brothers um, all came with them to, to Guatemala to pick me up. And my oldest brother from the Philippines would just like, he just loved me. And like, he, I was so attached to him when I was little also. Um, and he just was such a cool guy, is such a cool guy. And um and my other brother that's a few years older than me we just grew up like so close and um he doesn't really talk about his adoption too much um we're complete opposites I'm so open with everything and like just how I feel what I want to do like what I'm going through usually and like how I'm usually feeling and Micah hold up again sorry <laughs> this child is wild <laughs> okay but um anyways yeah so that's pretty much my adoption story i don't know if i'll keep this one up i don't like how it's all butchered and interrupted but um if you guys do have any other questions just uh let me know i think i already know once i stop making this video i'm probably gonna remember oh i should have said this or that but i wanted to get this video out of the way already um because a lot of people just don't believe me that I'm adopted. I'm like, why would I make that up? Why would I lie about not knowing Spanish? Why would I lie about being adopted? It's like, who are you for you to be like thinking that about me? Is that what you do? You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, that's my adoption story. I will one day go back to Guatemala. I will. I don't know when. I don't know how I'll get the money. But I want to take all of my kids to Guatemala one day. But that seems like really far-fetched but um i really hope it happens so anyways i hope you guys are doing good and i'll talk to you guys later all right shalom